Good evening, everyone. My name is Morgan Levy, and I am a current sophomore at Avangrove High School. And tonight, I'm going to be presenting to you all the power of positivity. Positivity is something that has heavily influenced my life, and I hope this presentation can show you all how adapting a positive mindset not only helps yourself, but people around you. Thank you. So what exactly is positivity? According to Google, the equivalent of being positive is being constructive, optimistic, and or confident. So if I were to say I have a positive mindset that basically entails I try my hardest to combat any negative doubts and uplift myself and others around me. How does positivity impact your mind, being, and life? So one way is that it motivates you to exceed goals. Oftentimes we're held back by negative doubts saying we're not good enough. So when we try our hardest to be our own cheerleader and uplift ourselves, it can really help us go after things in life that we desire. Another way is it helps the mind overcome destructive challenges. When we're in really tough predicaments in life and wondering why things are happening to us, when we try to look at the good side of things and consider what the problem is trying to teach us, it can really help us overcome those issues in life. Another way is mental peace derives from positive thinking. Stresses, worries, and doubts, they swarm our head like bees. So when we calmly try to remind ourselves of our capability, it can really help our mind stay in a more tranquil state. And last, but definitely not least, is something I like to call the secondhand smile effect. When I'm having a hard time finding positivity within myself, I like to spread it to others. Whether it's complimenting someone on their shirt or saying, hey, I love the point you brought up in class the other day. Seeing the instant gratification they get on their face really shows you what you're capable of and the happiness you are able to spread. The Harvard Gazette published a really interesting quote. They said, having an optimistic outlook on life a general expectation that good things will happen may help people live longer, according to a new study from the Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health. I thought this was really interesting because not only does positivity help our current day being, it has been proven to impact our long-term wellness. How can you achieve a positive mindset? I'm sure at this point in the presentation, you're probably like, okay, positivity sounds like a pretty cool thing, but how exactly do I achieve it? So one way is through visual affirmations, whether it's a poster on your wall or a screensaver on your phone, it's really beneficial for your mind to comprehend these uplifting quotes. It acts as like a little motivation booster throughout your day. And another way is through yoga slash meditation or just taking time to physically center your body. When you do this, it allows your mind to breathe, therefore having a more rational perspective on life. And another way is through doing things you genuinely love. It's gonna be really hard to have a positive mindset if you're doing activities and jobs that don't spark joy for you. Make sure you're doing things that you love. And another way is through other people. When you think about it, we spend a vast majority of our lives surrounded by others. So you wanna make sure people around you are kind, uplifting, and overall want the best for you. And last but definitely not least is through other people and real life inspirations of people trying to lead a positive path. I personally love Ellen DeGeneres because of how kind and charitable she is. And seeing how she spreads happiness to others really shows me that I can do the same thing. Dealing with negativity. Oftentimes when we try to pursue a positive mindset, we try to ignore every negative thing around us. Although this may provide temporary relief, it won't last for long. Shannon Kolakowski puts this in a really interesting way. She says, so when we have a thought we don't like, such as I'm going to be alone forever, it feels scary and we might even try to avoid it. The problem is it doesn't work. The thought may even become stronger or more convincing because you're dreading it so much as if you're running away from a scary truth. This is really, really interesting and well said because it's important for us to confront negative feelings and try to understand where they're rooting from before they get so big that they are completely unavoidable. Seeking out the light from the dark, AKA finding the positive aspect of a negative situation. As a show of hands, how many of you have just felt like everything in your day is going wrong from start to finish? Me too, I think we've all been there. Well, a really hard but really beneficial exercise is trying to find good things in your day that you didn't even notice whether it's eating your favorite food or watching your favorite TV show. When you start to list out good things in your day, it really helps outweigh the scale of bad to good. My experience was seeking out the light from the dark. 
So when I was in sixth grade, I was diagnosed with Crohn's disease. And at the time, anything associated with Crohn's was just such a negative denotation for me. When my physical health started declining, my mental health was going down with it. When I was in the hospital, I was just feeling so hopeless and negative. And if I'm being completely honest, that was very exhausting for me because I was typically a really happy person. So although it was really hard, I wanted to make a change in my life. So I did this by trying to find at least one good thing that happened in my day, whether it was as minor as going for a walk or eating a food that didn't hurt my stomach as bad. <laughs> when I started doing this, it helped view my day in a whole different outlook. Overall, this has empowered me to do things, such as being the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation Honor Hero for the state of Delaware in 2018. And now when I hear the word Crohn's, it's not just a negative thing anymore, it's a positive thing. As for I remember all of the valuable lessons that Crohn's has taught me. It can be hard. So life is full of opportunities of finding ways to fulfill a positive mindset. Those ways I listed before, those are definitely just a few. Whatever sparks joy for you, do it. It is not a sign of weakness to reach out to a friend, family member, or health professional with bettering your mindset. It's actually a sign of strength, as for it shows that you're trying your hardest to better your own mindset. And challenges will make you stronger in the end. I know for me, I can look back at problems that in the moment, they seem just so hard to overcome. But now when I look back, I see all of the wonderful lessons that those problems have taught me and the person they have molded me to be. And now I'd like to take the time to give a special shout out to any of you going through hard times and trying to stay positive. You are strong and you are definitely not alone. Thank you all so much for being a fantastic audience this evening. I know together we can be the change to form a more positive world. Thank you. <laughs>